I'm Ed Massey of Massey Yacht Sales and Service. Myself and Jose Flores, also with Massey Yacht Sales, have put together a series of videos that takes you through all the steps involved in the commissioning and custom outfitting of a new Catalina 445. These videos start with the new Catalina 445 arriving at Sneed Island Boatworks in Palmetto, Florida. The series of videos will end with the five days of Massey owner orientation at Regatta Point Marina, also in Palmetto, Florida. We hope you will find this series of videos educational and enlightening. These videos will be posted on the Massey YouTube channel and the Massey website. If you find these videos of interest and would like to view additional Massey videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Feel free to contact me directly at 941-725-2350 or at edwardm at masseyyacht.com. Good morning, folks. We're here at the end of the journey. I'm here with Ed Massey at Massey Yacht Sales. And thank you to all of you who have been watching the commissioning process for the Catalina 445. Ed has been kind enough to take us on a journey through that process and showing us what does it take to get the boat ready once the factory is done with it. So it's not as simple as the factory shipping to you like a car and then you jump on it and you're good to go. There's a long process and a lot of effort and a lot of people involved to make your boat and your experience unique when you purchase a, a new Catalina. So Ed, how do you feel about the journey for this particular boat? I mean, this has been a, an exercise in customization with everything that this owner ordered for it. This is probably the most customized we've ever put together a Catalina 445. Uh, the husband and wife owners have been really generous with their patience. And I, I want to thank them for that. Uh, there was some new ground here, things that we haven't done before, some wire runs we haven't done before, some custom manufacturing of items we haven't done before and it all turned out really well but I have to say the owner's patience allowed us to figure it out as, as we were going because some of this is new ground for us. Now the interesting thing is today will be the first day not in this video but in the next video which will be the last video it'll be episode 9 as we do the owner's orientation. This is episode 8 I believe yeah, and yeah. Um, you've watched and we thank you for watching each step of the make ready or condition process. So today what we're going to do is kind of walk through the boat and uh, and as well as the um, deck and cockpit to show you what where we are and we're finished really. And what we do with the owners, we will start with the Catalina owner's manual, which is this Catalina 445 manual. I had sent this to the owner in digital form so they could take a good look at it, read through it, and that would make the five days of owner orientation go more smoothly and more informatively. We also are going to really, with with Ted Wyrack, who did all the wire runs and the custom installs for a lot of the items. We're going to use these plans from Catalina to mark up these sheets to show where all the wire runs are, where we put things, and then we will add that to the owner's manual. And that'll be a very complete package. So down the road, if the owners need some work done, they can refer to this book, not a real big book, and quickly find the answers to their questions. So with that, why don't we uh, kind of do the walkthrough inside here, and then we'll okay. do the walkthrough on the exterior. Sounds like a plan. Uh, let's take a look, folks. Well, here we are in the owner's stateroom. And if you'll notice, the mattress is at a bit of an angle. And what we're doing there is this is a standard item from Catalina. This can be rotated up. And with those reading lights, now we can sit up in the berth and read a book. Very handy. Also, some of the things we did or have done, we went ahead and put in seven of the Caframo fans. Really nice fans. We've done that in both staterooms, in the main salon and the galley. The owner wanted the teak grates on this boat. So we have the teak grates in both of the heads. Really a nice feature. Kind of keeps your feet from standing in water. And if you'll notice, we've got the enclosed shower. In modern times, everybody wants an enclosed shower, a separate enclosed shower, and they want an island berth like this berth. Those are two essential items that are demand from boat buyers, and well so. Makes the boats very, very comfortable. We've got a nice hanging locker and shelves here. 
fitted sheets. Those come standard from Catalina. Very nice feature. And then under our feet here, you notice easy access to the transducer for the depth not log. Very easy. And then on the other side, we've installed over here, we've installed a freshwater seawater deck wash down. And you notice it's very well night. It's very well done with seacox and petcox or in light ball, ball valve so you can control whether it's freshwater or salt water and you won't get salt water into the freshwater system. Now is that a standard feature or that was a customization? No, that's another customization. Another standard feature that I should show you real quickly. This uh, Lifeline 8D AGM is the dedicated battery for the windlass and the bow thruster. Beautifully done. As we move aft again, I want you to notice there is a levered panel right here. And what that is for, and you won't find this on other boats, what that is for is when you close this door to the owner's stateroom, you still have airflow back to the return air grill on the air conditioning system. I want you to take a look at this game table, as it were. Most people leave it in this position. And it's very comfortable for two people to have a meal here or of course here at the quad bowl table. But this can go down and then there's it'll go down, rest here, and it does that with this short leg, right? So that can go down and then there's a cushion and a backrest so this can become a bench setting. Very nice touch. Here's another example of how we install the fans. You'll notice there's virtually no wiring showing, maybe a half an inch. Ted Wyrack of Innovative Marine is really a craftsperson when it comes to installations. Ted and I work together and have worked together for about 20 years now. This is the quad fold table. Beautifully done. You'll notice the grain. It's one piece of teak. And this is the cocktail, cocktail table format. And then if we open this up and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees, close it. And now we have a four top. Again, you'll notice the grain is perfect. Beautiful grain match, book match all throughout. And if you'll notice the book match over here, the grain through the cabinetry throughout the boat, all the grain flows book match, as, as Jose just said. You don't see that much on any, any more on boats. A lot of builders are just using laminates and not really even real hard wood. A Catalina wants the boat to be modern in terms of their performance, modern in terms of their heft of construction, but they want to be kind of classic in the fit and finish on the interior, which gives you that warm wood feel that it'll give you the warm fuzzies as it were for years and years to come. It'll, it'll hold that traditional feel but yet on a modern performance boat. Exactly. Without overdoing it with a lot of teak that will generate work this is teak that will stay like that for years to come. Exactly. Now you notice that there is handhold running the entire length of the salon port and starboard. There's a handhold right here in the galley. So as you're coming down the companionway steps you've got a handhold. You're moving through the boats you've got handholds and that's exactly the way boats should be set up for safety. Now another custom item we did was we installed this Garmin 8612 MFD multifunction display. We custom made this. We through bolted here so it's good and stout and we also have taken the sensors or sending units from the engine and taken them to all three of our Garmin 8612 MFDs. So you can watch the engine from either helm station outside or the nav station inside. You can also run the autopilot pilot from any of those three, 8612, Garmin 8612, or the autopilot head itself. So a lot of versatility in the way we've set this boat up. And then as long as we're sitting here, let's just show you, this is the Fusion sound system. This is the ICOM 803 single sideband. This is one of three smart mics for the VHF. This is the Iridium Go. Of course, that's right there. That's just your, your solenoid for the cooker. Down here, we have the engine ECU. We have the electric winch. And this right Right here is the power breaker for the single sideband. So the helm sta the nav station is really a very compact but versatile control center for the whole boat. And the owner wanted it to be set up just this way. We redid this panel entirely. We did a lot of custom work on the boat in terms of installations. We took the boat, the standard outfitting from the boat from Catalina, and then we kind of disassembled some things and then reinstalled them so that everything would have a very nice flow. Another thing this owner wanted was the the Garmin hub security system. And what we did there, and this is quite notable, the Garmin hub system is in behind this box. And it's a black system. We've shown it on prior videos. The owner said, well, can you make it sort of disappear? Because it was a little unsightly. So not only did we make it disappear, we made it disappear. And ship's carpenter, Greg Ralston, if you notice, he matched the maple battens that come standard with the boat, built this box. And then there's a big loom of wiring right here. But because this is white, he 
built this out of white. So it all just sort of went away. This is the cell phone signal amplifier or expander. And you notice both of these items are center justified to the window. We try to keep the aesthetics in mind no matter what we did on these custom installs. We think it's important that the boat should function well but should be beautiful inside and out. Now as we move aft a bit further, another item that the owners wanted because they love their coffee and they want fresh ground coffee beans. So this is the coffee maker. There's a 110 volt outlet right behind it. And we built a bracket, actually the ship's carpenter, Greg Ralston built the bracket here. that will hold this in place. It's not gonna go anywhere. And then I called for I called for this cover because it's next to the companionway and there might be salt spray when, when folks are out sailing or if it's raining or there might be dirt that's just in the air. We wanted to keep this nice and clean. Another thing that we did, and this is a standard option available to all Catalina owners on their 425 and the 445 is if you load this up with wine bottles and the boat's bouncing around enough potentially this door could be forced open. So what we wanted to do is come up with an elegant but simple solution to keeping the door from opening no matter what the seaway and again Greg Ralston the ship's carpenter did a masterful job of creating that. Very simple. Ted Wyrack, Innovative Marine did all the installations on all these electronics and nav items and again he's really Really the best of the best. And he did a great job. The owners also wanted an insect screen and a great idea because if you open up the companionway and if you'll notice on each of the hatches, each of the there's five hatches, each of those hatches have a shade on one side and an insect screen on the other side. Beautifully done. Those are very nice quality uh, shades. Then as we move a little further aft on the port side, we come to the what is known as the flex stateroom. The owners of this boat are diving into enthusiasts and pretty serious about their diving. So they wanted this to be a dive center. So we had uh, created or built a holder for the six dive tanks and they're very, very secure. And then we, we went ahead and built a four inch fiddle around around this berth. And there's a lot of gear under here and some of it pretty heavy. So if you were on a port tack for hours and hours and hours, I could see where maybe some of this stuff might want to fall into the sole. So we created the first ever, as far as I know, cargo net for this area and that worked out really well and it's easy to lift the net or put it back in place so easy access to a lot of things that are heavy enough that they might move around and we've eliminated that uh, when we go topside or we'll go on the deck you'll notice there's a wash down system the one you saw in that forward stateroom and these are the fittings for the wash down system really good water flow with that system this by the way is the iridium go uh, router and power unit and what we did there because it's a 110 system we put another 110 outlet right here so it's completely hidden out of the way I'm not going to grab the wires accidentally or, or um, have a problem with that and we just plug that in and you turn on the generator and you can be out in the middle of the ocean watching uh, your favorite streaming show the owner of this boat wanted a water making system because they're going to go to the Caribbean and maybe beyond and they opted for the rain man portable water system so it's not a hard install and we had to find a safe and stout place to store the base unit, which is quite heavy. It's about 40 pounds, I would say. And also you have the membrane, which is quite heavy. So what we did was look around and we didn't want to take any usable stowage space. That stowage space on a boat's always at a premium. So what we did was reinforce this particular locker. This gives you access to the transmission, the back of the engine. So we reinforced it with cleats going around it and it's three quarter inch plywood, anyhow, marine ply. And of course this goes ahead and straps down to the base so it's not going anywhere and we have bought another set of these rubber snubbers and we're going to put that here and over on the other side and that'll keep this from moving around no matter what the sea condition. Similarly the membrane we took L brackets steel L brackets and put a little teak face on them to, to uh, dress them up a little bit so that's on a shelf and the shelf is very stout because it sits on this part of the liner uh, of the boat. Then we did something again new we kind of we kind of figured things out as we went so that 40 pound base unit most of us can lift 40 pounds but in a seaway 40 pounds gets to be a bit of a problem so what we did was we went ahead and came up with a block and tackle system that hooks to the one and a quarter inch stainless steel bow of the dodger we've got dyneema up there dyneema line the snap shackle goes through the loop in the dyneema line and you just hoist the base unit and the membrane up if it's kind of uncomfortable conditions and you don't want to try to lift it up through the companionway yourself and potentially this also 
also could be a way to lift those dive tanks up, again, if the conditions were adverse, but you wanted to get the dive tank. But again, we, we kind of figured these things out as we went, as we saw potential problems or issues or thing, challenges down the road. We, and we kind of went through the boat and we said, oh, well, if we do this, how do we do that? How do we move this comfortably? We're getting older. We're not as, we're not 20 years old anymore. So we just kind of problem solved as we went. And again, with Ted Wyrack and Greg Alston, all the canvas package is done by Steve Lippincott of Lippincott Canvas. Uh, the owner's orientation today on the Garmin system, for example, will be Friendship Marine. They're the dealer here in Bradenton, Florida, and they're really good at doing owner's orientation. So those are some of the things we've done on the interior of the boat. You know how the boat works. We have, by the way, another head here, kind of a day head, although it does have a shower. And the shower, you just lift up the faucet there, and that becomes a shower. And there's curtain if you'll notice that cover the toilet and come across and cover the door again with the very nice teak sole great so from here we're going to go outside and we'll take a look at, at the outside before we do that i will mention this ghost has a fusion sound system that does more it's not just a stereo system you can stream on it it has bluetooth and then we have a, a large television a smart tv and we also install the apple tv component there at the top of the tv so it's going to be a rugged sailing boat a good cruiser and a very comfortable interior with entertainment to the extent that you want entertainment with a lot of versatility. All right, we'll go um, into the cockpit now and continue our tour. All right, folks, so that concludes the walkthrough of the interior of the fully commissioned Catalina 445. You've seen some things on this boat that you don't see on a custom product, on a standard production boat. You know, there's security system. I've never seen a boat with one of these installed. This is, you know, the latest and greatest technology. Uh, you go around, you can see where the sensors are for the contacts on the hatch and mm -hmm. other places so you can tell if somebody's trying to get into your boat. The new wireless, you know, Wi-Fi cellular system, right? Well, this is the cell phone, the cell phone signal, signal amplifier. System. So it doesn't matter where you are, this is going to pick up the signal from your security system, amplify it, and send it out to you. The installation on the fans is beautiful. You know, this much wire showing. So that absolutely did a phenomenal job. The boat is beautiful. You know, everybody likes the teak. Nobody likes to maintain it. So having it done in the fashion that Catalina put this both together is great because you you get the beauty of the tea you know that rich grain and and shapes and shades on the wood but without having to do maintenance on an ongoing basis once a year pulling the sanders out and the varnish and doing all the the heavy lifting so uh, kudos to catalina for a phenomenal idea other nice things i noticed in this book compared to others is you're not going to find a whole bunch of sharp corners anywhere everything is rounded beautifully rounded and, and routed so if you accidentally fall into something Thing, you're not going to, you know, poke a bone or poke a muscle. Right. It gives you a soft landing if you lose your balance inside the boat. So, Ed, thank you so much for giving us the interior uh, walkthrough. Sure. I uh, look forward to moving outside and let's see all the, the great uh, new technology and new things that have been added to this Catalina. Good. Look forward to it. All right. Let's go do it. We hope you have enjoyed these videos showing how we commission a new Catalina. NASI offers the yacht owners the opportunity to spec out many custom installations in addition to the various Catalina factory options. If you find these videos of value and would like to view additional Massey videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Feel free to contact me directly at 941-725-2350 or at edwardm at massyyacht.com. And remember, Catalina yachts are uniquely American with a strong focus on performance, safety at sea, and enduring value. They are overbuilt and underpriced, and that's why Catalina Yacht are the sailor's choice.